100 degrees, 200 degrees, 300. I have been given a new toy to play with. Nice. It's a soldering iron, and a massive thank you to Secure. <laughs> These guys are based in Guangdong province in China. This is a 12 to 24 volt, 60 watt soldering iron. You could perhaps say it's very similar to a TS100. Interesting. But the pricing isn't quite the same as ATS 100. Let's get in there. So what have we got? Well, we've got a soldering iron body. We've got a soldering iron tip. We've got <laughs> a, a cute little stand made out of heat proof plastic look at that and it's got a little sponge in there so you can clean your tip a set of three little earthing screws and a tiny little allen wrench we have another tiny little allen wrench type screwdriver an adapter cable which goes from a dc barrel jack to a usb-c connector and an xt60 connector to a DC barrel jack, which fits this guy here. Which gives me the idea that you could potentially power this with a remote battery pack. Very cool. Perhaps one of those battery packs that you might use in a radio controlled quadcopter or something along those lines. We have a rather comprehensive looking instruction leaflet and last but not least <laughs> we've got some stickers well i think it's time to put this guy to the test first of all perhaps we should go ahead and assemble it let's see how hard it is to assemble Dunk. <laughs> done <laughs> Okay, so we put the tip in, we rotate the tip to our desired orientation. I tend to solder like that, I'm right-handed, so I want that tip, that flat piece of the tip, just sort of facing the table there. And then we've got this tiny little Allen wrench here. Let's plug in our USB-C cable. So that's a USB-C port on this soldering iron. And there we have it. One soldering iron, pretty much ready to go. I never bother with the earth straps, which is probably a bit naughty of me, really. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison then of the TS100 and the Secure. And we'll see if we get better value for money out of the Secure soldering iron. The way I'm going to test these guys, the way I power my TS100 today, is with this here which is an Aztec power supply so it's a 45 watt 24 volt power supply so it's about a 2 amp 24 volt power supply and it has on it a little barrel jack that barrel jack fits directly into the TS100 and that barrel jack fits directly into the adapter cable that came with the secure soldering iron. So this has got an LED display on it. So uh, <laughs> ah, there we go. So we can adjust the temperature. And I tend to run my iron at about 320, something along those lines. Let's press the A button and that should turn the iron on. And off she goes. 100 degrees, 200 degrees, 300 and 20 degrees that is a very impressive warm-up time let's find a little piece of solder and let's just melt a little piece of solder to confirm that that is working and indeed that is melting solder quite happily let's compare that then with this here 
which is the TS100. The display is much prettier on the TS100. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> it's not about the display. It's about the soldering iron, isn't it? So I've turned on the soldering iron, 100 degrees, 200 degrees, 300, 330 degrees. Actually, I had this set 10 degrees higher. Let's just check, has that worked? And yes, indeed, we're melting solder. It literally is that quick. That is very, very impressive. Both of those irons appear to heat up very quickly indeed. Certainly, you don't have to spend a lot of time waiting for them to warm up. Let's go ahead and have a look at the elements. The handles on these irons are quite literally just controllers. That's all they are. And then inside here, we have these elements. <laughs> and these elements look very, very similar indeed, don't they? They've even got the same hole pattern, the same sleeve pattern, and <laughs> that looks basically the same, except this one's newer. I've had my TS100 for quite a long time. Fair to say that they are likely going to be compatible with each other. Now, as far as body sizes of these devices then, the Secure iron has got a slightly larger body size and a slightly nicer grip, I would say, whereas the TS100 has got like this very fine grip to it. Um, and again, the TS100 has a barrel jack on it. Uh, this port here, this USB port here is a micro USB and that's for updating firmware on that particular iron. Uh, this here is the USB-C port, the difference in price. So on Amazon, the TS100 iron and element, the basic kit is about 60 pounds. Whereas the secure iron and tip, the D60, is about 30 pounds. Half price. We have interchangeable tips. Ultimately, what you're paying for is a slightly more refined control handle. But if I'm completely honest with you, <laughs> the functionality of these appears exactly the same. Let's put these to the test. Normally, you would use these irons for light duty soldering. Let's go ahead and test out the capability uh, by tinning some of this rather fat 16 AWG 16 American wire gauge wire and see how they handle that. So at 330 degrees, here we go. I'm just tinning that up and that's taken really quite well. No problem at all. Quite pleased with that result. Just turning up the temperature on the D60 there to 330. Again, dead easy to use that interface, no problems at all. And the iron looks like it's up to temperature, so let's go ahead and start tinning this 16 AWG cable. And again, absolutely no problems at all getting that cable tinned and also heating it back up again. Look at that, fantastic. Ladies and gents, this is the Secure D60. And I've gotta be honest, for the money, absolute value for money. TS100, beautiful iron, that it's a little expensive. Now this guy's come along. So let's have a look at some of the key features as a high quality heating body with a high platinum temperature sensitivity. It has an automatic shutdown function, energy saving, safe and reliable. It have the sleeping function. The temperature of the soldering iron can be set to reduce to 100 degrees C automatically when it's not used for one to 30 minutes. After sleep, 
pick up and shake the electric iron again to wake it up and the temperature of the iron will quickly rise to the original set temperature. And actually that's really quite a good function because it'll sit there preheated and literally you just pick it up and it's almost instantly ready to go. So it's not abusing or using that tip too much. I actually do appreciate that function. The uh, TS100 has pretty much that same function as well. Microcomputer temperature compensation value, temperature error less than plus or minus five degrees centigrade. That's quite cool. The power cord is made of soft material with high insulation. It's got an LED display. The content is absolutely clear. Yes, it is. It has a memory mode function. And also the handle is made of special high temperature resistant material and electrostatic sensitive discharge anti-static treatment. I must admit, having compared these two, the TS100 is fabulous, but it's twice the price of the D60. And I've got to admit, I'd happily buy the D60 as it is today. I think this is more than adequate. On top of that, I think this iron is a value for money. Epic stuff. Absolutely value for money, this D60. It works a treat. It does what it says on the tin. And the actual tip itself is the thing that does most of the hard work. And they're pretty much, I would, I mean, I'm looking at these and they look like they're made by exactly the same manufacturer. It's just that the TS100s have got a little bit of laser engraving on them. So I would be tempted to say that this is best value for money. This is beautiful, but this is absolutely best value for money. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Give us a massive, great, big, fat, hairy thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>